It's a very broad field that considers all of the interactions between people and digital technology. It's a field that uh, you know emerged out of the confluence of engineering and psychology, particularly to deal with questions of usability um, and interfaces. But also all of the phenomena surrounding um, those technologies. So things like how are people using social media in order to organize themselves and coordinate work and coordinate protests and all kinds of um, disaster response scenarios. So really anything that looks at the interaction between those two, um, or even the mediated interaction between groups of people through technology, is something that the field of HCI is interested in. Stuart Card, Thomas Moran, and Alan Newell popularized the term human-computer interaction and kick-started the field in their 1983 book, The Psychology of Human-Computer Interaction. HCI research quickly led to many great results. Early research at MIT and the Stanford Research Laboratory led to the development of the first operating systems with a graphical user interface, the Macintosh and Windows 95. In fact, modern user interfaces in almost all software can be traced back to the foundations of HCI research during that time. Why is HCI important? Uh, why is HCI important? That's a really good question, actually. Um, HCI is important because it makes our lives really easy. There's something really special about the intersection between people and technology. Without HCI, we'd still be using computers that were only built for like engineers. Right now, computers are accessible and usable by anyone. Like your grandma can pick up a computer and work with it, albeit very slowly. So if you look at social scientists who understand people but don't necessarily understand um, how technology works or what its constraints are, um, there are certain questions you can't answer and things you can't understand. Uh, without human-computer interaction, thing, technology would only be useful by developers. Like, only people who built the program would be able to use it, which would suck. One research project I worked on uh, was called FeedLack, and it's this automated technique for finding all of the situations in which uh, some user interface implementation um, takes some input, but then doesn't give any feedback in response, like mm -hmm. a button that you click that doesn't do anything when you click it, or a link that you click that doesn't take you anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I, I notice all of these situations where applications are not giving feedback in different situations. My girlfriend will tell you that I complain about them all the time. <laughs> I made a card game and I showed it to my friends. It's like, look, I made this really awesome card game. You guys should all play it. And like everyone got back to me and was like, I don't understand. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? And I was like, seriously? Like you just you, you just click on it and it highlights and when you get three of them, they all go away. And they're like, oh, once you said that, now it makes sense. But at first they were like, I cannot play this game. This game is dumb. So clearly like I completely failed at HCI there. Like it wasn't usable. It didn't make any sense. So, I mean, that's why HCI has a lot of like user testing and things like that, and so incorporating that gets you great feedback as to why HCI is actually really important. And I realized, oh shoot guys, I wasn't even thinking about the user, I was just building this game for myself. So we said that the primary goal of HCI is to increase usability, but how do we do that? One area of research with great implications to HCI is eye tracking. In current eye tracking research, the eyes of a user are recorded while they are using some form of technology, such as a website, a phone, or a tablet. The video is analyzed for direction of movement, areas of focus, and the length and number of fixations on specific items in the interface. Let's take a look at the following web page, a Google search for the phrase eye tracking. Where did your eyes look? Research has shown that users navigate search results and many other web pages in the shape of an F, starting at the top left corner. This creates an area of the screen that many in the field refer to as the golden triangle. What can we do with this information? Search engines can make their results more usable by organizing them according to the user's gaze. For example, entire sentences can be included in the topmost results, where the user scans the entire width of the page. In the last few results, towards the bottom of the page, the user's eyes do not move right towards more text. Therefore, the last few results need to grab the user's interest with a couple of words. This will have a great impact on the simplicity of interfaces and technology in general. 
When an implementer knows that the user only focuses on a certain section of the page, the design model changes. Instead of cramming as much information as possible into a limited amount of space, the designers can use the research results to put relevant information in the right place. An important application to this topic can be found in accessibility. What if users without mobility will be able to use the movement of their eyes to navigate the internet and gain more independence in their lives with the help of HCI? Current and future research in the field of HCI impacts more than one field, and not just technology. It impacts how we interact with everything in our lives. HCI is good for computer science because computer scientists kind of build the technology. A computer scientist that only really understands how to build technologies and what the constraints are on technologies, but yet has no sense of how somebody's going to use them, can't know what the right thing is to create or what the consequences of some design choice they make are. And if you incorporate HCI into it, you're building technology that's useful for everyone again. So everything about HCI at that intersection is really about fusing together those two perspectives so that you can make meaningful decisions about how things should work, how they shouldn't work, what the consequences of certain choices are. With technology advancing, I know it's going to get way more powerful. I know that it's going to be more prevalent. I know. Like right now, HCI isn't super huge in the world. It's something that people talk about, but if you walk to average people on the street and say, do you know what human-computer interaction is? They're gonna be like, no. But I know that in the future, like the information school and computer science or things like that in general are gonna blow up and be huge. Pretty soon, human-computer interaction is gonna be something that I hope, at least, everyone will think about at some point.